In the water? No, you can just put it in the yard, put it in the grass. Eric Jackson is getting ready to go to work. My work, in my opinion, is more fun than your average person's work. Double target, come on. My commute is definitely easier. And hey, babe. I got way cooler wife and kids. <laughs> His job hey, buddy. is trying to make the Olympic whitewater kayak team for the second time. Let's go in the midway. At the 92 Olympics, Woo! he finished 13th. Ready? First, I'm going to get my dogs over on the island where they're safe. Go! Been training full time since 1984 with the idea of being on the U.S. kayak team, being in the Olympics and all that. Go, 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 go! Why do you want to be an Olympic kayaker? It's simple. I've always wanted to prove or find out what I'm made of. Find out if I can be the best at something. Now, in order to prove I'm the best in the world, I need to win the Olympics. In order to win the Olympics, you've got to be on the Olympic team. Target up. Pebbles, come. Are you going to win? Well, I sure hope so. Let's see. Thomas, life jacket. Paddles, clothes. Ready to race, Emily? So, along with his family... Think anybody noticed if you take my place at the team trials? ...and the high 8 camera we That's gave him... A little rock and roll doesn't hurt anybody. Good motivational music. Jackson is driving 11 hours to the Okoe River in Tennessee. Bunch of champions here. Two Cokes, fries... ...to the all-important Olympic trials. Let's see a big bubble. Very cool. This is kind of like a do-or-die situation. Two people are going to go to the Olympics. I need to be one of them. So I need to either win on Saturday or win on Sunday. 600 miles of driving later. Yahoo! <laughs> we have arrived. The kids died on the way. You can just sense the excitement in the air. The Olympic trials and all. Can you say goodnight? <laughs> Good night. Get that thing away. Making the Olympics is a dream anyone can understand, but what Eric Jackson had to endure to try to make that dream come true, for many people, would be a nightmare. Hello, Adventure Schools. Jackson's wife, Christine. No, well, this is my problem. I have, like, 3 o'clock. I need two instructors. Runs the family's kayak school. Principle number one, kayaking is fun. How often do bill collectors call? Probably get one or two calls a day. This was one bill that I just got said, notice of... Payment due. We charge $1,739. $347. This is a big one. They were going to turn my water off. What you guys want to do is you guys want to lean forward. People really don't think you can make a living from kayaking. All right, let's go. We're hoping that's not true. $141, but I'm not late yet. That's got to be nerve-wracking. I've just gotten used to it. You just get, I don't know what it would be like just to be able to pay my bills every month on time. I think it would be great. <laughs> don't get me wrong, but... That's Eric's line. Christine, you didn't know this when you uh, said I do? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It was all, to me, just glamorous, you know, the life of an Olympic athlete must be traveling and endorsements and sponsors and commercials. Uh, well, this is 10 years later, you know, and I actually never imagined that I would go on this long. The river's got plenty of fish in it. What do you think? Did you ever stop to reflect on whether you might want to change your priorities. You just back to die. No, my priorities is always on my family. Hey, Emily, we should invest in a fishing pole. My family is always priority number one. Whatever you do, don't step in the puddle. <laughs> just kidding. Come on. He spends much more time with his kids than almost any other parent I know. Yeah. He takes them fishing, camping, kayaking, and I couldn't ask for much more than that. Dane thinks fish is free willy, though. So even if he doesn't make the team, it was worth it? Absolutely. All the sacrifice, all the hassles? Absolutely. I'm in a kayak race tomorrow, you know, for the Olympic team trials, and I kind of want to have yellow hair for tomorrow, if that's all right. Back in Tennessee, it's the night before the race. Well, the reality is I got this really cool-looking boat. It's yellow with red. The only thing that doesn't match is my hair. It doesn't match black, you know, so. Well, if this sucker works and my hair is sun yellow, I'll be really impressed. <laughs> I think that looks yellow there, Randall. <laughs> oh, boy, we're almost there. <laughs> Is my hair yellow? It is. Cool. It's yellow. <laughs> Race day finally dawns. And EJ is running late. Now 
Now, the only small minor thing that we need in order to get to this course is... Thank you very much. Keys to the car. This is going to focus the attention of the entire world on Polk County, Tennessee. Hey, Dane, remember that potty thing you were trying to learn? Let the games begin. Thank you. Me and Al Gore, you know, we should, like, have a little powwow. What do you think? He's pretty nervous. Doesn't he's, look nervous. Um, he's pretty nervous. Your check for your entry fee bounced, so you need to pay in cash tomorrow. Okay. Whoopee! He needs to stay focused. Check bounce, no big thing. He faces 36 other kayakers on a course he's never raced. A few minutes, ladies and gentlemen, the men's kayak competition. Showtime. Probably spend most of the time like this, but at least if I want to watch, I can. <laughs> You can't really describe the feeling, but you're just sitting there and it's like you've got two fingers in light sockets or something. I'm <laughs> really nervous. I feel like I'm going to throw up. EJ has to win to make the team. Battling the bright orange boat, Eric Jackson. Miss your excitement out there on the course. Bid number 76, Eric Jackson. Look, Daddy. Daddy's coming. Jackson now. Oh, having a little trouble. Stalled just a little bit. <laughs> On the edge of the control, and he holds on to it. Nice work by Eric Jackson. That's not going to do it. That run is not going to do it. How'd it go? Not good. And we will wait for the score. Now your current leader, Richie Weiss. That's not good news. Eric didn't win today. So he didn't make the team today. Night's going to be a little. Yeah, what happened today? I didn't make the team today. That's what happened. Which means there's only yeah. one chance left. Are you bummed out? One more race. Well, I was up for the grabs. I didn't grab it. <clears throat> I'm disappointed in myself. That's all. Tomorrow. Say night, night, daddy. Night, night, daddy. Yeah. Okay. Good night, Eric. You don't have to tell me to go night, night. I'm going. <laughs> The most important part about today is the fact that there is no tomorrow. After yesterday's disappointment for Eric Jackson... Emily, you're supposed to rub your magic rock and make a wish, remember? It's time for wishful thinking. Today would probably be my last shot for my entire life to get on the U.S. Olympic team. You are watching the 1996 U.S. Olympic team trials for... Jackson and 36 other kayakers are about to race. Seriously in the hunt for that one remaining spot on the Olympic team. Each gets two runs. How you doing? Good. The winner goes to the Olympics. Yeah, watch. I'm going to make the Olympic team today. The rest go home. Remember what second place is. It's the first loser. I don't know. It's just coming down the wire, you know. Just want to do well. I'm a little nervous. Will all the family's sacrifices pay off? Time to get serious. I'm good enough to make the team. All I need is a good race. This isn't a Girl Scout meeting, you know. This is the Olympic trials. <laughs> Eric Jackson! And on his first run... Go, 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 go! It's looking very good. One stroke and in and out, and he made that dive look like flat water. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be 60 seconds, and I'll be out of your way. Jackson is having his way with this course right now. Jackson putting on a show here in the brightly colored orange and yellow boat. I think the time is about to drop substantially. Eric Jackson has just put on a show. Eric Jackson, 155.56. Eric Jackson has just set a new game out here today, ladies and gentlemen. Jackson is in first place. Isn't that the course record so far? So far, yeah. EJ, aren't you pumped? Five second penalty. Are you clean? But there are two penalties. And here comes Scott Shipley at the top of the stretch. And he moves into first place. Yeah, Eric's out of the lead right now. That wasn't the run that's going to put him on the team, that's for sure. So the race is not over yet. Now there's just one run left. So the next run's got to be uh, at least six seconds faster. So you've got to be flat out perfect on the last go around. Yeah, there's not much leeway in this. Me wishing him luck part is over. There's Daddy. He's coming. <laughs> E.J. drives over to the upstream at 22. Looks to be having a very solid run. 
Jackson, oh, leaning down through gate 25 and on his sprint to the finish line. The time to beat. You look good. One minute, 50 seconds. Eric Jackson, 155.42. Eric Jackson unable to improve more than two That was it. Two that was, I was waiting here. I'm going to go over and try to see him. Scott Shipley has made the U.S. team, of course, unofficially. Scott Shipley. As hard as you tried, as hard as you worked, when you look back at it, and with the benefit of hindsight, was it all worth it? Yeah, it's definitely all worth it. Uh, I mean, at this moment, if you ask how I feel, I feel less than uh, less than happy. I mean, sorry. You know, all, everything else, the rest of my life is fine. Just got to uh, deal with the fact that I uh, didn't do it on race day. Representing the United States in the 1996 Olympic Games, Rich Weiss of Atlanta, Georgia, and Scott Shipley of Atlanta, Georgia. Even if four years ago I knew the result today, I would have still told him to put everything he has into this. You know, we're not going to whine and complain because it couldn't get, you know, to go the way we wanted it to. Um, we're still happy to be here.